Hey, what's going on? Okay, now I'm going to show you how to hook up your DualShock 3 controller to your Mac. So all you need is your DualShock 3 charging cable, which I have here plugged into my computer, and you're going to need Snow Leopard, because that has special support. So you need both of those things. Okay, so plug the other end into your DualShock 3, obviously. You should recognize it. Yes, it does. It starts flashing red. So now, right now, it's charging. So you're good to go for that way, but you're not able to play your games just yet. So... Next step is to uh, turn on Bluetooth if you don't have it on already. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on Bluetooth. Okay. Bluetooth is now on. Simply just press the PS button and you're going to unplug the controller. Let me just focus in. Okay, I'm going to unplug it right now. Bam, connects just like that. You are now connected to your Mac and that is all you have to do to connect it. PlayStation 3 controller, you can disconnect it or you can click on this right here to see your other devices. Uh, I have my PlayStation 3 controller there, and I have my other, my other one there, my black one here. So I go ahead and hit the black one, it's going to recognize, it's going to recognize it, and there you go. I have both my controllers connected for if I want to play uh, two player games. So now you are done connecting it. So in order to play your games, you just got to config them. So open up your emulator, I got SNES, SNES 9X open here, so I'm going to go to config, okay? configure controllers and there you go so all you do is you simply just press the up button on this okay then you press the up button on your controller you can either do joystick or d-pad it's up to you I like, I like the d-pad for super nes so i'm going to stick with that so once again you just click up okay it auto it goes dark once you hit it on your controller it goes back to normal that means it's it accepted that so you just do all that for all your buttons and then you could go to player two here and then do the same thing and you are, that's all you do. Just close it off and you're good to go. Now for the, um, whoops, for the uh, 64 one, let me show you that. Close Super NES. You can have them both open, but I just like to close it. You go to the very top here, go to 64 and you're going to go to Configure Controllers. Same, same thing. So here, recognize that I have both my controllers. That's control number two, this is control number one, I'll just go to that for now, go to configure, and then here's my DualShock. Okay, oops, sorry, I'm supposed to click on it. So what you do is you just click on the very top here, your A button. Now what you want your A button to be, I want it to be X, so I'd hit X. See how it goes down to the B button automatically? I want B to be square, and it goes down. To stick up, you can just use your joystick, you just push it up, and then so forth. So that's how you map all your buttons onto your controller. Once you're finished, just hit OK and close it off and start playing your games. It's that simple. Um, no problems there at all. It's very easy. So I hope you guys have no problems doing this. Oh, one more thing. Keep in mind, um, once you pair your controller to your Mac, um, it won't recognize on the PS3 when you turn it on again. So all you do is you just plug in your USB into your PlayStation 3, plug it in for like two seconds, and then it'll recognize it again. It may be a pain for some, not for me. I don't really care. I have two controllers, so if I want to have one dedicated to the PS3, I can. But, I mean, it's not a big issue. You just plug it in two seconds, and it's recognized again. Not a big uh, price to pay for having a wireless-free gameplay for your emulators, okay? So that's basically it, guys. Hopefully you have no problems. Uh, if you do, let me know. I'll try and help you out. Okay, take it easy.